One of my favorite stories in NHL history belongs to that of a person in the Canadiens coaching staff, actually. Let's talk a little bit about Alexander Burroughs before we go over on to our main topic, because Burroughs, to me, was an absolute hero. I think a lot of y'all know I am from Vancouver. I started watching hockey pretty much in 2010, 2011-ish, coincidentally the year the Vancouver Canucks went to the finals, and Alex Burroughs was always one of my favorite players. He was an agitator, he worked really hard, he scored a lot of goals, he was super clutch, and he was arguably the best line mate the Sedins ever had, despite the fact that he never really was a quote-unquote top player. He was always just kind of there, but his chemistry, the work ethic, it was all so complimentary to him as a player. However, part of the reason why I love Alex Burroughs and his story so much is because this guy was a journeyman in every sense of the word. Not only did he have to work his way up from the ECHL to the AHL to the NHL, but he also had a pretty storied ball hockey career during that entire process. In fact, he was nominated to both the International and Canadian Ball Hockey Hall of Fames, which is kind of cool if you think about it like that. But Burroughs represented a different type of story that you don't normally see out of NHL players. ECHL guys to AHL guys eventually working their way up and becoming legit NHL talents. And when it comes to this other Alex in the Canadians organization, we may be on the cusp of seeing some sort of a breakout. And I thought I wanted to give this guy his opportunity to shine in a video by himself. Let's talk today about the guy who was arguably Mr. Laval Rocket himself. An experienced veteran who had played in the ECHL and worked his way up to the AHL. He had a few NHL call-ups here and there, but never really got the sustained level of success he needed to stick around, potentially until now. Today we're talking about Alex Belzeal, a guy who has really come alive the past little while and is sort of cementing himself in Canadiens hockey for 22-23 in the best way possible. Now you've probably seen his name pop up here and there the past few games, especially since he's been scoring a lot of goals, but this is the Belzeal video. So let's go over the profile, let's go over his entire story, the journey he had taken to become an NHL player today, and just how confident everything looks for him heading into the next little a while. Alex Belzeal was born in 1991, so he's 31 years old, 6 feet 196 as a listed right wing center player on Elite Prospects. As we had said, he was undrafted, so there is no draft position for this guy. Instead, you have yourselves a pretty great story of a guy who was a Ramuski Oceanic phenom. 92 points in 63 games played in 2011-2012 when he was an overage player in the league. Eventually, he signed over with the Gwinnett Gladiators in the ECHL and was pretty good over there. He had spent the next few years bouncing up and down between different ECHL teams and AHL teams. You've got the Hamilton Bulldogs, he was on loan over there, the Gwinnett Gladiators, Alaska Aces, Idaho Steelheads, before he eventually became a sort of mainstay AHL guy with the San Antonio Rampage system in 2016-17. Now that was as recent as six years ago, so even back then, Belzeal was still a quote-unquote AHL-ECHL fringe type of talent. And he still had ECHL games played in that time span as well. Belzeal was 25-ish in this territory of his career, and it wasn't really looking like he would be a quote-unquote NHL projectable talent, despite the fact that he did have an extended amount of time with the, I believe this was the Colorado Avalanches farm team back in this era. In 2018-19, though, Belzeal made his debut with the Laval Rocket in the AHL. He signed a one-year deal to play with this team, and he scored 54 points in 74 games played, 19 goals and 35 assists. Now, his performance on his one-year Laval Rocket deal was so good that he actually got signed to a Montreal Canadiens contract the next year, May 24th, 2019. One year, two-way contract for 27-year-old Alex Belzeal, and from then, it pretty much was a stable pattern. As Belzeal played sometimes with the Montreal Canadiens, he got a call up here and there, but was mostly Mr. Laval Rocket, sticking around there, grinding things out, using his leadership and his veteran presence to help out younger guys in that team, and just put a whole bunch of points up in the process. He was always a stud for this team. And he had a few stints with Montreal as well. 
However, in 2022-2023, this has been the best stint for Alex Belzeal so far, as in 19 games played, the guy has 4 goals and 6 assists for 10 total points. That's a projected NHL point total of 19 points in 36 games played. Let's do the math over a full 82 game season 10. Divi 19, multiple that out by 82. He is on pace for 43 points as a 31-year-old who is playing in what is essentially going to be his first quote-unquote full-time job with the National Hockey League. He played 31 games with the Laval Rocket this season, had 26 points, which is great, but it's kind of the expectation for Belzeal to be able to do that. And in fact, if you go over to his point production and you see, okay, yeah, 10 points, 19 games, that's really good, it gets even better when you acknowledge where the majority of these points have been coming from. Take a look at Belzeal and his game log in the past few games he has had. Sunday night against the Vegas Golden Knights, the guy has a goal in the 4-3 Canadiens loss. Against the Carolina Hurricanes, the shootout loss, that in which we're not going to talk about because Kotkaniemi, yeah, oh my goodness. Belzeal has a goal and an assist. Against the Rangers yesterday, you have yourselves another goal scored by Belzeal. He's got himself four points in his last three games played. He is looking like he is on top of the world. He is just firing pucks like crazy, and he is able to pot him in because he's got the talent to make things work. Alex Belzeal has been such a journeyman this entire time that from working his way up from the ECHL as far back as 2016-ish, he is now an NHL player on a team that admittedly is really injured right now. You have so many AHL Laval Rocket guys being given opportunities to just show themselves off at the NHL level because of all the injuries. And a guy like Alex Belzeal is taking full advantage of that. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say that the Alex Burrows thing that we had talked about before is going to happen again here. I mean, I don't see Alex Belzeal scoring 30 goals in the NHL in back-to-back -back years like Burrows did. Burrows was also a lot younger when he eventually transitioned into the NHL. Belzeal is now in his 30s. But just seeing a story like this, where a guy has worked himself up from the bottom all the way to the top of the mountain, he's playing for Montreal, he is scoring goals, fans are loving it, he's loving it. This is the reward that you get when you are just a solid AHL caliber guy that is beneficial to the younger guys. You use your leadership to your advantage and you do such good work that ultimately this is the reward. An extended time in the NHL and you have all of the swagger behind you to carry over and make it work. So, for Alex Belzeal, this may not be the most permanent thing in the world. Once the Canadians are healthy next season, once everything works out properly, you're probably not going to see Belzeal be a mainstay Canadiens guy. But, for somebody who is just doing what he's doing, this is a great story, and it's one that I feel like was worth talking about, which is why I decided to bring it up here on the YouTube channel. So, if you've been a fan of any of the ECHL teams that Belzeal has been a part of the past few years, you talk about the Gwinnett Gladiators, Alaska Aces, Idaho Steelheads, Fort Wayne Comets, Colorado Eagles. This guy had been everywhere. Talk about Mr. Worldwide, eh? If you're a fan of any of these teams, what are your thoughts on Belzeal's current rise to fame at this point in his career? How do you think he was able to get that done? Are you surprised that this is the guy that has been really just lighting everything on fire everywhere he goes. So good in the AHL, now in the NHL, still getting a pretty good amount of points here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a fan of any of these teams, and if you're a Canadiens fan as well, what are your thoughts on Belzeal and how he has transitioned to the big clubs as well? Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.